What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have my Money in the Bank 2018 predictions. So as all of you guys probably know, Money in the Bank is on Sunday. This is my favorite pay-per-view of the year besides the Royal Rumble. The Money in the Bank's very action-packed, a lot of great spots and ladders and good jazz. I'm going to be very honest with you, I'm not that hyped for this year's Money in the Bank match. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the build or something. Maybe it's the superstars in it. I'm not very happy about Braun Strowman or Bobby Roode or The Miz being in this match. I mean, uh, I know The Miz and the Daniel Bryan storyline down the road could be great. But uh, I don't know. I just don't really care for that. I don't want The Miz to win. But I could see it going down that way. If it went that way, I would be more than happy with it, I guess. But uh, I want to see Kevin Owens or Finn Balor or Rusev capture the money in the bank. I think it would do wonders for them. Mostly Kevin Owens or Rusev. But, you know, I'm cheering for my boy Finn Balor to get the job done anyways. My first pick would probably be Kevin Owens. But uh, anyways, we'll cover that when we get into it, guys. But we're going to run through the card. You guys know how we do here on the predictions video. I think we have like 11 matches to cover cover so let's go ahead and get straight into it so starting things out guys we got the raw tag team championship match between the deleters of worlds matt hardy and bray wyatt taking on the b team in bo dallas and curtis axel and you guys know that the B team won that tag team battle royal to earn this opportunity here. And I actually looked on Wikipedia, this match isn't even listed. So this match may not even be on the card. I may not know what the hell I'm doing, but uh, I'm putting it in here anyway. And I'm going to go with the deleters of Worlds retaining. You know, they haven't really had a big defense just yet. So I'm going with them to retain. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Bray Wyatt and his brother Bo Dallas interact here and see if they play into storyline or if that has anything to do with the matchup. Next up, we got the rematch between Big Cass and Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan obviously defeated Big Cass at Backlash, tapping out to the Yes Lock, and uh, that match wasn't very good, and I don't expect this one to be. I don't care about Big Cass at all. I think that he's solid on the mic. I actually like him on the mic for some reason, but Daniel Bryan needs to move on to bigger and better things. I think Big Cass comes up empty again here. 0-2 versus Daniel Bryan, so I'm going with Daniel Bryan to defeat Big Cass with uh, the Yes Lock again. Next up, we got the culmination of an awful storyline right now, Sami Zayn and Bobby Lashley. Every single week on Monday Night Raw, this feud and the storylines and the segments have just got more awful as they went from the sister segment to the freaking obstacle course to the questionnaire, whatever the crap Sami Zayn did on Bobby Lashley. This feud is just terrible, and I hope it ends right here. I hate to say it, but Sami Zayn will be getting beaten right here by Bobby Lashley. I'm going with Bobby Lashley to win. They're obviously high on Bobby Lashley, even though he's very boring, not very good on the mic. I hate it, too, because I used to like him back in the day uh, when I was a younger kid, and it just sucks to see, but uh, Sami Zayn will be losing to Bobby Lashley on Sunday. Next, we got the modern-day Maharaja taking on the big dog. Roman Reigns right here and I think this matchup is pretty much pointless like why are they fighting I know the Jinder Mahal cost Roman Reigns his uh, entry match into the money in the bank and I thought that was great that Finn Balor got in over Roman Reigns but uh, yeah I'm going with the big dog I think the big dog is going to take care of Jinder here you know he's main evented Wrestlemania like four years in a row and he's going to easily, you know, just take out Jinder right here. There's no way that a guy that beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania is going to lose to Jinder. So I'm going with the big dog. Next up, we got the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match between the Bludgeon Brothers taking on the club and Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. As cool as it would be to see the Good Brothers pick up the championship victory right here and add SmackDown Live tag titles to the resume, I think the Bludgeon Brothers are going to beat them. You know, the club actually did upset the Bludgeon Brothers, I think, twice leading up to this matchup. So I think that uh, their luck's going to run out and the Bludgeon Brothers are going to take care of them as sucky as it is. I am going to say, though, Carl Anderson has been getting jacked at the freaking gym, guys. Luke Gallows as well. They've been working out super hard, getting fit, and they look absolutely fantastic. But, uh, yeah, Bludgeon Brothers victory. Next up, we got the SmackDown Live Women's Championship match between Asuka and Carmella. And I think this one's pretty easy, guys. I think Asuka should easily defeat Carmella. My God, Carmella's just been awful as champion. This whole feud and just terribleness and Carmella's very annoying and just awful. Just please give the championship to somebody deserving like Asuka and let her run butt naked all the way to WrestleMania 35 with this championship. Please just do it that way. 
It'll be much better for everyone. And uh, yeah, Asuka defeats Carmella easily. Next, we got the Raw Women's Championship match between Nia Jax and Ronda Rousey. And I gotta say that I'm excited to see what Ronda Rousey does in her second match ever in WWE. And I think that this feud has been absolutely atrocious, guys. This is just terrible television. Nia Jax just flipping from face to heel in the blink of an eye. And Ronda Rousey is getting better. You know, she's trying, but it's still just not good, guys. This, this is just not good. Both Raw and SmackDown have terrible champions right now, and I cannot wait for them to go over to somebody that, you know, actually matters, like Ronda Rousey and Asuka. So I definitely think that Ronda Rousey is going to lock in the armbar. Nia Jax will tap, and we're going to have Ronda Rousey as Raw women's WWE champion and it'll be great to see so let's go ahead and make that happen I'm going with Rousey next we have the women's money in the bank ladder match guys between Ember Moon Alexa Bliss Sasha Banks Charlotte Flair Becky Lynch Naomi and Natalia I obviously do not have Ember Moon so the thing is obviously uneven which is terrible I've actually found her at retail multiple times and I always pass and now I regret it but anyways guys Getting into this match, I am very excited for this to see what these women can do. You know, last year's Money in the Bank wasn't too terrible, but you had some stupid participants in it. Uh, Lana's also in this matchup. I just forgot about that. Uh, speaking of stupid participants, but uh, anyways, I think that Ember Moon should win this. I think that would be great for her character. I think she's the hottest uh, WWE women's superstar right now on the roster. Just She is on a hot streak right now is what I meant by that. So uh, I think that Ember Moon should capture the women's money in the bank and uh, cash in and win the championship. Don't know who on, but uh, I can definitely see Charlotte also winning the money in the bank. And I would love to see Becky win it. That's who I'd want to see win it. I think that Becky has lost a ton of momentum. I think that she needs this going forward. She did just defeat Charlotte Flair on SmackDown, so uh, give it to Becky Lynch, but uh, I'm going to pick Ember Moon. Next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship match between Seth Rollins and Elias, and this one's actually pretty tough to call, guys, because we don't know if Seth Rollins is going to move on to the Universal Championship or what the... Uh, yeah, little plans are, but anyways, I think I'm going to go with Seth Rollins retaining. I just don't know if Elias is going to take the championship off of him just yet. Even though it would be really cool, I'm big on Elias and stuff, but I think that Seth's going to retain and hold on to that Intercontinental Championship for a little while longer. I'm loving this reign. He's the hottest superstar right now, literally Superstar of the Year for 2018. But, uh, yeah, Seth Rollins burning it down on Elias at Money in the Bank. Next, we have the WWE Championship match between AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. This matchup, literally, guys, I just don't even know where to go from here. You know, we thought we were getting a dream match at Mania. It totally flopped. Their match at Backlash was a little bit better, but it still wasn't quite what I'm looking for. In this last man standing match, I swear to Jesus, both guys better wear cups, and it better be, you know, planned. And this, these guys should go for, like, 30 minutes in this last man standing match and it should be a great tear down the house freaking match of the night potential match of the year these guys need to lay it all on the line like we know they can don't let them uh, have any time limits don't let them hold anything back let them go out there and do what they do and i think that uh they'll finally live up to the hype that we're you know we've all been waiting for but uh, i'm gonna go with aj styles retaining i just don't want to see shinsuke with the championship i've said it multiple times how i think he's pretty overrated so I'm going to go with AJ Styles retaining. Hopefully, I don't want to see Shinsuke with the title. He's had multiple rematches after rematches, and he keeps coming up short. So uh, AJ Styles retaining. I don't know where Shinsuke will go from here, but uh, AJ Styles needs to retain. And last but not least, guys, we have the men's money in the bank ladder match. And uh, I don't know. I'm pretty torn between this. I think The Miz is going to win, most likely, but I don't want him to win. So I'm really torn between those options. I'm just going to predict that The Miz wins, but I hope to God that Kevin Owens or Rusev or Finn Balor wins. That's the guys that I'm going to be going for. Of course, we do not know who's going to be competing from the New Day just yet. Whether it be Big E, Kofi Kingston, or Xavier Woods, I feel like it may be Big E. I just feel that the rumors are going to be true. If he's going to be getting a big push or whatever they're trying to do, then the only sense that it would make is for Big E to be in this matchup and compete. You know, I would like to see Kofi, see what Kofi can do. You know how he's been very entertaining in former Money in the Bank ladder matches. Xavier Woods would probably be my last pick because I love Big E and Kofi so much. Xavier is very underrated, but I just think that uh, Kofi or Big E would suit better in this matchup. But I expect a lot of great things out of this match. I'm very, very excited 
for the Money in the Bank match. Again, I'm not very hyped about the participants, but you know what? I'm going to go into it with an open mind, see what happens, and uh, hopefully the boy Kevin, Finn, or Rusev gets the job done. I expect to see some great things, some table spots, of course some great ladder spots, and uh, maybe a coup de grace from the top of the ladder. Kevin Owens is very innovative in these matches as well, and I'm excited to see what Samoa Joe does. So uh, that pretty much does it for all of my Money in the Bank 2018 predictions. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE, WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MyDamnToys, and uh, get on Twitter and follow me during the show, guys. I'll be live tweeting during the show, so definitely follow me on Twitter at MyDamnToys if you have one, and I will see you guys in the next video.